What's up YouTube fam? It's your boy Jay Will back at it again and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to mix your own beats by only using FL Studio stock plugins But before we get started what I'm gonna need you to do is for one hit that subscribe button Once you hit that subscribe button make sure you click that notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I have a new video uploaded today So for now let's bring in the hook So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a sample of what it sound like right now. None of it's mixed, so here it goes. All right, so that's exactly what it sounds like right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mix everything real quick, only using FL Studio stock plugins. So let's get started. So what I like to do is I like to solo out each instrument and give it give it its characteristics on what it needs. So basically, I'm going to go to this first instance of Omnisphere, play it by itself and see what it sounds like. So what we're going to do is we're going to EQ almost every instrument on here. So if we EQ this, look for the EQ2. We're going to bring up the EQ2. So you see everything over here that's nothing but dead space where the low end can leak into. So basically what you want to do is you want to cut out that dead space without actually altering the sound. So this little thing up here, this actually gives you the curvature of the line right there. And then this gives you how steep you want the curve. So you just slide it over until you don't hear, until you start to hear a difference and then slide it back. Then you want to do the same thing for the other side as well. So now that we have that EQ, we're going to do other sounds as well. Do the same thing. Silence it and then solo sound out. EQ2 as well. Now this is the fun part right here. Now you hear how how that sounds. We're gonna make it sound a lot better. Everything with the EQ. So let's go ahead and EQ this out too. I actually have it here, so I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done to it. Actually, I don't have it right there. So I got confused. So basically, what we're gonna do is gonna open up this EQ too. So we got the EQ2 opened up, we're going to play this one. So basically what you want to do is you want to mess with the high end. So basically you can go over here to the blue or the number 7. We're going to create that nice curve. And we're actually going to leave the curve like that. We're just going to slide it all the way over to maybe to about like number 2. And you hear how it sounds, but we're actually just going to... We wanted to get that deep sound. It make it sound just like that. So now that we got that EQ'd out, I'm going to show you what all three sound played together. So now 
you get that nice, crisp, smooth sound. You don't have a lot of inter interference with different sounds and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move on to the 808s. All right, so we're going to put another EQ on this as well. Put an EQ2. Once we put the EQ2 on, we're going to do the same thing, mess with the high ends. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put the curvature that we want. But here, I like to put it about halfway, maybe a little bit between three and four. Um, and then we'll hear what it sounds like. So this is what it sounds like without it. You have some kind of interference going on with the high ends, but if you cut it off to about right here, Good. It's gonna give you that smooth bass line that everyone wants to get. So basically, we're done with that. So once we're done with that, we can go ahead and silence it. We come over to the snare. Now the snare is kind of tricky, but we're gonna EQ that as well. And we're just gonna place that EQ on there right now. What's the EQ? So we're gonna mess with the low end over here with the snare give it its curvature but the key is you want to take out as much as the low end without causing too much interference or manipulation with the sound that the snare is giving you so you just want to listen out real quick so i think that's about right right there so we're done with that as well so what basically what we're doing is we're eqing all the sounds that's just the first step involved I went ahead to the liberty of EQing this as well. So this is what this sounds like. Now we have the kick. Now the kick is kind of different. We're just going to EQ it as well. Now with the kick, you still want it to punch through. So what you really want to do is just give it its curvature. But what you want to do is you want to have it just like that. It's just like that, just like it, like you're going up a hill. So, but you want to put this right on top of four, just right on top of four. But like I said, this is probably the most difficult part of making beats is getting the EQ right to give you that smooth sound to make your boots, your beat sound smoother. So as long as your beat sounds smooth, a lot of people will start to buy them as well. So we're done with that. Now we're coming over to the hi-hats, EQ them as well, just take out all the low ends. So as you can hear that we took out the low ends, you don't no longer hear that low popping anymore. Gives you that. Got one more. Now this is all subjective, you don't have to follow these rules, but if you would like, it's a good blueprint to follow. Once again, we're just going to take out the low end until we don't hear any, really any difference within the beat or the instrument, if I may say. Um, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to make space for that voice, for the artist's voice, which sits in between here and here. And sometimes males will go all the way down here as well. Um, so now we eq all the sounds. Time to add the effects. So right here, it has a little reverb on it, but I, will, I want a little bit more on it. So I'm going to add re reverb 2. Go to the preset. I'm going to go to the venue. I'm going to cut that about halfway. Right here, over here, just cut that about halfway. Um, this doesn't really need anything. Now, the kick. The kick is what I want a little bit more punchier. And I want it to go through the 808. So basically, we're going to bring up 
our tools. Uh, where's my kick at? Here you go. So basically, go to this tab right here. We're going to the attack. We're going to bring the attack down to where it's going straight, straight up and down the hold and bring the, the rest of the three all the way down to where it looks like that. So we're not done yet. Now, are we? Of course, we're not. What we're going to do is we're going to a soft clipper. And all this is in FL Studios on your purchase bundle. It's really with the basics. Everything I'm using is with the basics. So we got that all set and done right there. So we're going to go back to where we was at. Go back to the kick. And then we're going to go to the volume section right here. We're going to turn the volume up a little bit. That way it's pumping through. It's pumping through. Pumping through. All right. But now we're going to turn on this 808. Now it's... So now we got the 808 on, we're going to actually have the 808 side chain to the kick. So if you want to side chain everything, well, side chain the kick to the 808. And basically, you can go to the 808. What you're going to add is you're going to add a, a limiter. Uh, fruity limiter, also involved. Once you get that fruity limiter, all said and done, we're going to go ahead and play it, and then watch me work. We're going to mess with the threshold, and we're going to mess with the knee. So, basically, we're going to bring the threshold down, and the knee's going to make the 808 go silent for that brief second that the kick is punching. That way, you can hear it through the beat. So, watch me as I do mine. So it was really that simple. It was that quick. Um, also, that's really about everything that we needed to add for right now. So basically, we're going to mess with our levels to see how smooth of the beat that we can get, getting it sounding its best. So when we're messing with levels, it's all subjective as well. You don't have to follow these tips, but if you want a blueprint, you're welcome to follow this as well. So basically, what I like to do is I like to uh, solo out each instrument but play them as I go along. So once I solo out one, get it to where I want, I keep that one playing, I turn on the other one, and I get that to where I want it as well, and I just keep on turning on each individual instrument one by one, one by one, until all of them are on there. So basically, the process was go will go like this. So this is basically about mixed already. I want to go over one more quick tip for you. I actually have numbers that I follow by when I'm looking at the screen over here. So when I'm over instrument, I like to put certain instruments at certain numbers. So my melodies, I always like to keep at 15. So that, and then my uh my sub my sub synth, I like to keep that at around just above 15, so that way you can hear the umph in it. And then my 808s, I like it at about six. And then my kick and my snare, 
about six. Maybe my kick will go a little bit more. Or I'll bring this 808 and the snare down a little bit because I want you to feel the kick as well. Um, my hi hats I keep in the 20s. So basically, if I were to play this, it's right there. I could bring it down a little bit more if I wanted to, which I think I just like. And so, and then I have my open hands. So I like to keep that as, right there as well. So as long as I have that done right there, I think everything would actually flow a little bit better. So I'm gonna play it for you one more time, and then we'll, that's it for this video. You know, let's see what it sounds like. All right, man. Thank you for listening. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and make sure you hit that notification bell to get receive all a video notifications every time I upload to my channel. All right. If there's anything else, man, leave a comment in the, in the below section. Tell me what I need to do another video on. Other than that, let's get it, continue producing, and let's get this money, man.